Thank you. Uh, the next paper, paper two, is titled Nutritional Status Based on Mid-Upper Arm Circumference, MUAC, and Head Circumference, HC, a cross-sectional study among the children of Jaffna District. Uh, paper is by K. Kandipan, S. Balakumar, and B. Arasaratnam. It will be presented by Dr. K. Kandipan, who is a lecturer of the Department of Biochemistry, Faculty of Medicine of University of Jaffna. Uh, we uh, extend you an extra warm welcome for having come all the way from Jaffna. Thank you, madam. Okay. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. The research title is uh, nutritional status uh, based on uh, mid upper arm circumference, MUAC, and head circumference, a cross sectional study among the children in Jaffna district. So, let us move to the introduction. Uh, despite remarkable achievements in the health sector, uh, malnutrition has been a persistent challenge in Sri Lanka. Most of the studies specify the nutritional status based on weight and height. However, the undernutrition based on those measurements may less interpretation on the biochemical alteration. So, the measurement of uh, MUAC and head circumference are more practicable in the large scale screening also. So, this objective of the study to determine the nutritional status based on MUAC and head circumference among the children aged 1 to 5 years in Jaffna district. So, let us move to the methodology. Study area was the Jaffna district, including all islands. The population, all children aged 1 to 5 years living in Jaffna district, was a study population. The study design, a descriptive cross sectional study design was used, where multi stage cluster sampling approach was used to identify the samples. In this multi stage cluster sampling method, the primary sampling unit was MOH division. The secondary sampling unit was PHM area and the tertiary sampling unit was the households. The sample size, a total of 856 subjects were derived based on the equation of this one and the design effect. Study instruments are the questionnaire, anthropometric measurements and biochemical parameters. Interviewer administered questionnaire was used to derive the socio-demographic factors such as age, gender, and anthropometric measurements such as MUAC, mid upper arm circumference, head circumference, weight and height were obtained to uh, determine the malnutrition based on WHO recommendation. The biochemical parameters such as hemoglobin, serum albumin, serum ferritin, and urinary iodine concentration were obtained. The statistical analysis, data were analyzed in statistical package for social sciences version 21 IBM. All statistical tests were carried out at 5% significant level and descriptive and inferential statistics were made. The before start of field survey, ethical clearance was obtained from Ethical Review Committee Faculty of Medicine University of Jaffna and informed written consent was obtained from all participants. So results, so out of 856 selected students, children, sorry, 846 were responded and provided the data and the response rate was 98.8 percentage. There were 414 males and 432 females in this study. The high number of children was obtained from rural area, that was around 75 percentage. So this figure shows the age distribution, the age was categorized into four groups as this and the mean age of the children was 35 months and the range between 12 to 59 months. This is, this figure so, figure so, the mean weight and height of the children with age. In this study, the mean weight and height of the children with age were significantly increased. Mean head circumference was 48.1 with a range of 39 to 
59 around 60 cm and the mean mu walk was 14.38 cm with a range of 10.5 to 18.5 cm mean weight height and mu walk were not significantly differed between the male and female but in case of head circumference it was significantly differed between male and female so this table shows the mean mu walk based on the age and sex distribution sex uh, specific distribution of the children so in this study as weight and height the mu walk also significantly increased with age but no any significant difference between uh, boys and girls same as for the head circum mean head circumference based on the age and sex specific distribution for the age as other parameters anthropometric parameters this uh, uh, head circumference also mean head circumference also was increased with age and also uh, there was significant difference between boys and girls so this one is the under nutrition based on anthropometric measurements so in this study 33.1 percentage of children was affected with underweight and this is the highest percentage also compared to the national prevalence also and when we look uh, compared to the wasting stunting underweight uh, the prevalence of under nutrition based on the low head circumference and low mid upper arm circumference uh, were low uh, that was 8.6 percentage for low hc and 11.5 percentage for low muoc so this one is a comparison of nutritional status based on low muoc and normal children so in this study so we observed that the nutritional status based on protein deficiency anemia and iodine deficiency except iodine deficiency so other parameters were low among the low muoc for age group compared to normal group and those were significantly associated significant those those were significant and the muoc was significantly associated with stunting and wasting but in case of head circumference those were not associated and among the uh, low head circumference only 25 percentage and 35 percentage and 29 percentage of children were affected with wasting underweight and stunting respectively so that's why compared to head circumference so muoc is the Uh, better measurement to direct the uh, malnutrition so this one is the selected biochemical parameters and dietary protein con- consumption among among low muoc group and normal group so as uh, previously i have showed the except urinary iodine excretion so other parameters were significantly low among the low muoc group compared to normal group and this one is the association of uh, muoc head circumference weight height with serum albumin only muoc was significantly correlated with concentration of albumin but in case of you can see the in case of head circumference height and weight uh, they are were not any significant association with serum albumin and this one is the group the children group Uh, was divided into two group as undernourished children based on the muoc and head uh, circumference the total number number is uh, 112 and this is undernourished children based on the wasting underweight and stunting uh, that was 387 so here that uh, the biochemical parameters such as albumin uh, albumin hemoglobin uh, protein consumption uh, were low among the undernourished children based on the muoc and head circumference among only albumin and uh, protein consumption were significantly significant so that finally so we will move to the conclusion the overall prevalence of undernutrition among these children was very high however the prevalence of undernutrition was observed uh, to be low based on the muoc and head circumference muoc could be the best assessment to direct the anthropometric as well as biochemical alteration among the children thus muoc could be the best screening assessment to direct the anthropometric as well as biochemical alteration among the children 
So these are my reference. This is acknowledgement. All this thanks to the funding agencies uh, such as Fontira Brand Langa and National Research Research Grant. Thank you for the patient. Dr. Kanlepan, um, would anyone in the audience like to ask questions or clarify any issues? Yeah, yeah, higher than uh, yeah, you can see the 31.1 percentage in case of underweight. Those are um, uh, uh, public health significance according to the WHO classification also in case of Sri Lanka. That level of undernutrition is prevalent in, in Jaffna. Is there any reason you all can identify for the... Uh, higher levels that you have noticed in this part of the country? Yes, uh, there's a lot of associated factors are there. The first of all, wealth index. We have calculated the wealth index. So, a lot of reasons associated factors are there. One is the socio-economical factors are there. Educational level of the parents, income of the parents. A lot of things are associated with this uh, higher, higher prevalence of undernutrition in Jaffna district. But here the sampling technique also uh, we have approach uh, very good statistical approach to select uh, uh, the population. You can see the map in the, these red dots are the, the sampling area. So entire Yefna district is covered, even rural area, remote area, and pocket area. All over the areas we have collected the sample. That's why this prevalence is uh, very high prevalence. But most of the studies some quickly go to the urban area and select some samples and they are analyzing. That's why the low prevalence of wasting and underweight and stunting. If you go to the school children, you can see obviously. In a time, we can see a lot of undernourished children are there. Okay, thank you. Yes, please. Did you see any difference between the urban, the urban Jaffna town children and the rural children? who are living, any dif di difference and discrepancy? Obviously, uh, very difficult to see any difference because in Jaffna district, no any such uh, classification of urban and rural area. In rural area also, very rich people are there. In urban area, very poor people also are there. That's why no any, no any significant difference of undernutrition between urban and rural area. Only that administrative purpose, purpose so I don't know that classification is as urban and rural but actually no any classification based on the wealth index. So I have analyzed the wealth index also. In urban area we can see the low wealth index compared to rural area. Some rural area high wealth index is there. Was there. Thank you. You said you assessed biomedical parameters. How did you get the blood samples? Yeah, uh, uh, 5 ml blood sample from the sepalic. Yeah, how did you mean? Uh, consent, uh, was the consent taken from the Yeah, the consent, parents? informed written consent obtained from the parents uh, for the children, uh, ch child of, of the children. the children? Hmm? Of all those children? All those children, yes, yes. But as in form, we didn't get the as in form during that time because because less than five years, very difficult to get the SN form. You can see the response rate is 98.8 percent. Uh, you used a design effect because you used a cluster sample. What was the design effect? Two. I have no. used two. Was so that only basis or you used? No, because we know any previous studies. That's why it's difficult to calculate the define design effect uh, according to the variability of uh, previous studies. That's why no any uh, scientific uh, previous studies. That's why arbitrary I have used two. Okay. Yes, yeah. The second question is uh, now wasting, uh, underweight and stunting. Mm -hmm. uh, I think is something like 26, 33, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Based on the anthropometric measures yes, yes. and height and weight. Uh, wait, wait for but uh, the using MUAC and HC, it's very low. So, but you recommend MUAC and HC. Uh, um, I'm just asking you, doesn't it actually underestimate the problem of malnutrition if you use MUAC and HC and you lose uh, detecting 33%, 26%, etc.? 
yes of course for the real prevalence of under nutrition actually we have to estimate this wasting and underweight and stunting but that is only that uh, only anthropometric according to the only based on the anthropometric measurements but no any uh, such uh, severe biochemical alterations but in mu work and head circumference if there any children with low mu work and low head circumference definitely we have to do some intervention that mean we have to do some supplementation or something we have to do but wasting and underweight uh, i don't think so because uh, yeah that things so are there and wasting in case of albumin deficiency also albumin mm-hmm. low albumin level also there and the wasting there may be an inherent danger in recommending muac and hc for estimation of undernutrition over and above the traditional wasting stunting i think that's very clear yeah. number 2 is did you really check to see whether muac were all under the severe malnutrition group say sam cb yeah, see uh, did you check to see the muac category yeah. were under the su the sam category of undernutrition no no no, no it might be that yeah. reason yes yeah, sir so uh, yeah. you need to see that mm-hmm. uh, the third is actually if you do, do you want to do biochemical measures uh, do you want to really go by a new ac but recommend for malnutrition anyway doing biochemical tests because it's important to detect they have anemia protein calorie malnutrition etc but in compare to yes compare to wasting and uh, underweight but mu muac is the severe form of uh, biochemical alteration but in case of stunting uh, is a chronic malnutrition yeah that biochemical alteration of is there that anemia and also there also remembering measurement of muac and hc hc of course is not very sensitive yeah, yeah. and muac it's a takes a lot of training for people to measure yeah, it correctly yeah, yeah. so we have to take it in that context as well thank you very much now any further questions please okay thank you